It was estimated that 38 million deaths have occurred due to chronic diseases, contributing 60% of death worldwide per year. These diseases are the leading cause of death globally and they are becoming more prevalent at this time because of continuously change of man's lifestyle. This growing challenge threatens economic and social development as well as the lives and health of millions of people and the majority is the youth. These are what we call non-communicable diseases, also known as chronic diseases. The four main types of non-communicable diseases are cardiovascular disease, like heart attacks and stroke, cancer, chronic respiratory diseases, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma, and diabetes. Vascular disease is a group of disorders of the heart and blood vessels and may include coronary heart disease, disease of the blood vessels supplying the heart muscle, cerebrovascular disease, disease of the blood vessels supplying the brain. 17.3 billion people died from CV in 2008, which is 30% of all global deaths. 7.3 billion were due to coronary heart disease and 6.2 billion. Modifiable risk factors include high blood pressure, abnormal blood lipids, tobacco use, physical inactivity, obesity, unhealthy diet, and diabetes. Another type of non communicable disease is diabetes, which is a disorder of metabolism the way the body uses digested food for growth and energy. The amount of sugar in the blood is controlled by a hormone called insulin, which is produced by the pancreas. When food is digested and enters your bloodstream, insulin moves glucose out of the blood and into cells, where it's broken down to produce energy. However, if you have diabetes, your blood is unable to break down glucose into energy. This is because there is either not enough insulin to move the glucose or the insulin produced doesn't work properly. Did you know that 347 million people worldwide have diabetes? For an estimated 3.4 million people died consequences of high blood pressure and more than 80% of diabetes deaths occur in low and middle income countries. The IDF or the International Diabetes Federation provides us with facts and figures of people with diabetes worldwide. 415 million people worldwide were diabetic in 2015. And it is said that in 2040, there will be 642 million people will be diagnosed with diabetes. In every 6 seconds, one person dies from diabetes and over $673 billion is spent on it. Major modifiable risk factors include unhealthy diet, high cholesterol, overweight, and physical inactivity. Cancer is a generic term for a large group of disease that can affect any part of the body. Cervical cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, colon, and all the cancers that will end 13.1 million lives by 2013. In 2012, an estimated 8.2 million people died from cancer worldwide. More than half of cancer deaths worldwide occurred in countries at a low or medium level of the Human Development Index. And now let's find out how many deaths caused by cancer this year. The data on cancer mortality displayed on worldometers is based on the latest statistics 
published by the World Health Organization. Smoking cigarettes and even people exposed to secondhand smoke are victims of lung cancer. One of eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. The most reliable risk factor is age. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men. Age, race, obesity, weight gain are risk factors. The third common type of cancer is the colorectal cancer that forms in the lower part of the digestive system, the large intestine. The leading cause of death is a chronic respiratory disease. The COPD, or the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a term used for lung diseases that prevent proper lung airflow. More than 3 million people died of COPD in 2005, 3% of all deaths globally. It is a progressive disease that makes it hard to breathe. Progressive means the disease gets worse over time. COPD can cause coughing that produces large amounts of mucus a slimy substance, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and other symptoms. Cigarette smoking is the leading cause of COPD. Most people who have COPD smoke or used to smoke. Long-term exposure to other lung irritants such as air pollution, chemical fumes, or dust also may contribute to COPD. With 235 million people affected, asthma is another chronic respiratory disease that is at gradients of severity and can cause sleeping and fatigue. Discussing the risk factors will not only save lives, but it will also provide a huge boost for the economic development of countries. This video will educate us about the yes to no's of prevention of non-communicable diseases.
I'll go